Hey y'all. So being an art teacher and an artist means that we are very passionate people. There is no argument there. However, sometimes our passions do tend to get us into some arguments. And so I thought I'd chat with you about that today. I remember my very first year teaching, I had an incident happen and I needed to take this incident to my principal and I was really nervous about how to approach my principal with this really sensitive topic. And I talked to a first grade teacher about it and she told me, Cassie, you can say absolutely anything to anyone if you just choose your words very wisely. So I thought about that and I thought about what I wanted to say and it really did help me understand that you can say anything that you feel passionate about or that you find needs to be said if you just choose your words wisely, then your message will get across without hurting other people's feelings and causing them to shut down and shut you out. I actually have some notes on this because this is something that I think is very important. I think it's important for all of us as art educators to learn how to speak our minds about teaching art, about how we approach teaching art, and all of the other things that encompass teaching art because it's what we're passionate about. My husband always tells me, that when I want to talk to somebody about something, think about what you want the end goal of the conversation to be. For example, if you're wanting to share your thoughts, your ideas, a problem, think about that as your end goal. Don't think about what feelings you're trying to get or an ego of your own that you're trying to boost. Think of the end goal. If your end goal is simply to get your point across, Think about the best way that you can say that, the best words that can express it without hurting feelings and without causing somebody else to feel like they have a target on them. So think with the end goal in mind, choose your words wisely. When I was growing up, there was this old ad that was on TV for florists and it said, um, say it with flowers. And I always think when you have to say something that's a tough topic, something that's difficult to address, Think of how you can not send somebody flowers, of course, but just say it in a way that you are saying it with flowers, saying it with a pleasant tone, saying it with words that won't be offensive, choosing them wisely. And of course, you can't go wrong with starting your sentences with, I feel. If you tell somebody how you feel, nobody can argue with your feelings. So starting your sentence with, I feel, making sure to say it with flowers, thinking about the end goal and choosing your words really wisely or what's going to make your point come across the best without offending anybody and really open people up to a great conversation. And the last thing I want to say is from my friend Patty Palmer. She has a great saying that I think she said came from her daughter, which is don't yuck someone's yum. When you're trying to get your point across, don't try putting somebody down. After all, you're trying to express your feelings, not shoot somebody else down for theirs. That is, unless you're just a total at not a nice person. In which case, then just hush and move on. But all that to say, we all have something that we're passionate about. We all have things that we need to share with each other. And the best way to do that is in a positive tone so that people will actually be open and open-minded enough to listen to you. So I hope that helps you all out in case you find yourself in a situation, and we always do, where we're passionate enough to stand up and speak our mind, but do it in such a way where it won't shut other people down and allow them to listen and to share their own passions and thoughts with you as well. Love to hear y'all's tips on how to approach people with sensitive topics and to do it in such a way that it opens up a great conversation.